Hey guys, so I'm back with a new client tutorial, full glam as usual, so let's jump straight into the tutorial. Using this Precisely Brow Pencil from Benefit, I'm just going to fill in her eyebrows. I'm also going to use Cabral Pomade from Benefit in a darker shade, and I'm going to use this to out outline the tail, making it more defined, and then I'm going to do some hair-like strokes at the beginning of the brow. Using concealer, we're going to underline the eyebrows and then apply all over the eyelid. This is what I like to use as my base. So we're just going to blend that in and set it lightly with translucent powder. First eyeshadow is Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. We are going to buff that through the crease and I just like to reapply until I'm happy with the intensity. Then I'm going to use MAC eyeshadow in the color Nylon just to highlight underneath the brow bone. Next shade is Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. I'm going to apply this color right in the socket so that's where I'm going to concentrate most of that color. Then using Cabin Fever also from Makeup Geek, I'm going to apply this to the inner and outer part of the eyelid leaving the center a bit bare. Now using this liquid eyeshadow from Ingla, I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. I am making it quite cut and defined, pretty much like a cut crease. Using this bronze shade from Ingla, um, it has a pearl finish. I'm going to apply this to the inner and outer part of the eyelid. And then in the center, I'm going to apply this gold pigment from Down Under Cosmetics. It's in the shade Dingo. To make the center pop even more, I just put a bit of gold glitter over top and this is the gold digger yeah the gold digger glitter from girly cosmetics for winged eyeliner i'm using Inglot's liquid liner in 25 which is a matte black and then to apply it i've used the Inglot 31t brush i also use this brush for the eyebrows and today's eyelashes i'm using i think they're called hypnotic i will make sure i leave the name down below these are from slay lashes they're super pretty and dramatic so I'm just going to apply those and once the glue has dried, I'm just going to go back in and fix up their eyeliner. So starting on the base, I'm going to first prime and I'm using Becca's Illuminating Primer and I'm just going to apply this all over the face. For foundation, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Sticks Foundations. I wanted to play around with a few colors because I have purchased quite a few shades. So I've got a light shade to conceal and brighten. Then I've got a mid shade that is more her skin tone. And then I've also used a darker shade to contour and bronze. Now you definitely don't need this much foundation, but I just wanted to have a play around. And you see this technique a lot on Instagram, but most artists don't show the blending process. So I'm pretty much going to show you how I blend all of this out. It's always going to look crazy, but you just have to keep blending and it will eventually come together. So now I'm just going to set the under eyes and I've just used the Derma Blend Translucent Powder. And once I've done that, I'm just going to set the rest of the face. Now because I want to make her face look more bronze, I need her body to match. So I've used the NARS Laguna liquid bronzer all over her neck and chest and overall she just looks really pretty and bronze. Okay, so using Hula Bronzer from Benefit, I'm going to shade down the nose. Afterwards, I'm going to apply a bit of this bronzy peach blush. For highlighter, I like to apply a cream or liquid highlighter first. Uh, today I'm going to use the Anastasia Liquid Glow in the color Perla, I think it's pronounced. So I'm just going to dab that on with a slightly damp sponge. And then afterwards I'm going to go over the top with Midnight Sun Highlighter. This is from Makeup Geek. Going back to the eyes, I've applied this black liner in the waterline. It's from Urban Decay. Now with this look, you can do nude or brown liner. It's totally up to you. But I really wanted her eyes to stand out, so I did use a black. 
Now I'm going to smoke a few warm brown shades along the lower lash line. These are the same shades that I use on the lid. And to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to apply a bit of mascara to her bottom lashes. So I decided to go for a red lip for this eye look. I haven't used a red in a while, so I just wanted to change it up a bit. But because the eyes are quite dramatic, you can definitely wear a nude with this eye color. Oh, sorry, with this eye look. So this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed today's client tutorial. Now I will be mixing it up with different face features and skin tones very soon. I have been listening to your requests, so definitely stay tuned for those. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.